This is Wolfpack TV. I'm your host, Larry Reed. After a two-week hiatus, the TRU Wolfpack men's volleyball team back in action here on the Warner Rentals Court at the Tournament Capital Center. The Wolfpack and Pat Henley ranked number 10 in the nation. This weekend, they took on the University of Winnipeg West. The pack not showing much rust. First set, STP, Sam Taylor Parks, playing an unfamiliar role and looking not out of place on the outside. Anton Nepolitano has shown an uncanny knack for getting service aces. Here's another one for the Aussie. The set went to extra points. Charlie Bringlow putting the exclamation point on it as they take the first set 26-24. Moving on to the second set, this one a marathon. Tim Dobert, the big German, 11 kills as the pack take it 32-30. In the third set, the match tied at 26. Waterloo Ontario's Bringlow bringing it out of the back row. The pack win in three straight. Tim Dobert, the player of the match with 19 kills. It was amazing. Uh, we had good energy and uh, everyone played well. Um, I'm expecting a lot for tomorrow. Saturday night, and again, Tim Dobert showing why he's one of the best players in the nation. A service ace and later a block as the pack rolled to a five-point win in the opening set. The Westman putting up more of a fight in this one. They take the second and the third sets, but cue the Wolfpack comeback. Four set, 19-6 pack in front. A couple of big blocks from Sam Taylor Parks, who's back in his middle position. TRU takes it and the match is tied, sends this one to the race to 15, otherwise known as the fifth set. Leading 9-8, double block by the Kelowna duo of STP and Cole Hansen. Speaking of the double block, that's how this one ends, courtesy of Bringlow and Kyle Behills. The pack moved to 5-1 and one on the year. I think the turning point is when Cole Hansen went in there and, and executed plays in the fourth set. It just relieves the pressure from guys and, and shows that if you go out and do your job, the good things will happen. And, and I think that you know, always comes from uh, sometimes an unexpected source, and this time it was Cole Hansen. Let's see how the women would fare back home after looking to snap a prolonged losing streak. The match Friday was one of a record variety. Ukrainian first year Olga Savinchuk with the kill, one of five for her in the opening set. Second set now, the pack with five straight points to get it going. They never looked back as they won 25-17. In the third, more from Olga Savinchuk. They sweep the Westman. Olga 23 kills, 23.5 points the most this year for any Canada West player in a match that goes three sets. One night later, more Olga to lead the pack in the first set. Don't think there are face-offs in volleyball? Well, think again as the ball goes off the face of a Westman player. Savinchuk with eight kills in the first set. Let's move to set number two. Gabrielle Podlosky of Grand Prairie, new to TRU. She had her finest match since joining the team. She goes cross court and later gets the kill to put the home girls up 22-17 on the way to victory. In the third set, the Westman putting up their biggest opposition of the weekend, but TRU prevails again in three straight sets. Gabby Podlosky, the TRU bookstore McDonald's, leader of the pack player of the match. We just did a really good job playing consistently. Um... We really minimized our errors and just really played to our identity, so we did a good job of doing that. We changed a little bit of our defensive schemes. I don't know if that was uh, what held us back a little bit uh, defensively, but I thought uh, overall I was, uh, I was happy with how the girls performed. Basketball in Vancouver this weekend meeting UBC. Let's start with the women. They're looking for their first victory of the season as they take on the T-Birds. Great start by TRU, leading 21-17 after the first quarter and 37-36 at the half. Michelle Boss was on fire as she's been all season for the pack. She winds up with 21 points and eight rebounds. Lelani Carney had 16 points. Emily Vilak chipping in with 11. Jordan Haggerty adding 10. The pack outscoring UBC 36-26 in the second half. TRU scoring 17 points off turnovers for the 12 point victory. One night later and UBC was all over the pack from the opening tip off. They capitalized on six TRU turnovers in the first quarter and led 21 to eight. Kanisha Reeves was the top offensive threat for the pack, nine points in the first half. She wound up with 12 on the night. Rookie Lauren Walkley, the South Cam grad, 10 points coming off the bench, six in the second half. TRU falls to one and five with the 35 point defeat. Let's check out the men, Friday night wearing their orange. Great pace in this game. The pack down by 10 after the first quarter, 25-15. They outgunned the Thunderbirds 17-7 in the second quarter. Anton Billis with 11 points. Mike Ruwald chipped in with 10. The pack fall by 28, but the TRU bench outscored UBC 22-11 and had six fast break points compared to UBC's two. 
Then on Saturday night, another great pace in this one. Packed down 59-36 at the half. Mike Drewalt with 16 points in the first half for TRU. He wound up with 19 on the night. Derek Rhodes and Joe Davis chipped in with 14 points apiece. The pack with eight steals to UBC's four and had 15 points off turnovers in comparison to UBC's 10. TRU falls to two and three on the year. UBC is six and one. This week, everybody's at home. The basketball teams are hosting the UBCO Heat. Yes, former TRU Athletic Director Ken Olenek making his return to the TCC. Friday's games are during the day. Women at 11, men at 12.45. TRU hosting its first ever school day. Upwards of 1,300 students will be in the stands. The teams will also play, by the way, on Saturday afternoon. The volleyball teams will play at night Friday and Saturday. Last time we'll see them before the Christmas break. McEwen Griffins are the opposition. And the TRU swim team also in action this weekend. They have a contingent of four heading to Calgary for the Canada West Championships. Riley McRae, the first year from Sahali Secondary, poised to win the program's first ever Canada West medal. That's Wolfpack TV for this week. Go to our website to check out full highlights along with coaches and player comments. And don't forget our social media. I'm Larry Reed. We'll chat again in seven days.